Hello and welcome to WordPress Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to install and apply translation plugin on your Elementor website pages. I'm not talking about Google Translation. I'm not talking about cloning the website with a different translation. It's a simple and easy way to give your visitors the accurate translation you want for each language you are using on your website. The plugin we are using to use is Translate Press, which is available in WordPress repository and it's free. There is also a premium version available for this plugin, but we are not going to discuss it in this video. I'll show you the features only available in free version and most of them are enough for a full translated website. Now let's start uh, how to install this plugin and I'll show you how to set up it. First of all, come to your admin dashboard, click on plugins, add new. On the search page, Click here and find Translate Press, press enter. Install Translate Press. Click on activate. After successfully activating the plugin, go to settings and click on Translate Press. On this page, First of all, you have to add the languages you want to uh, use on your website. Uh, my website's default language will be English and the second language will be Spanish. So I'll use the Chile version and click on add. This will also need a slug if we use English for EN for English and ES for uh, Spanol. Uh, now the native language names will be yes uh, because when a Spanish user uh, opens the website he will uh, find um, the button name is Spanol but if you turned it off then it will be in English like it will be uh, Spanish but if native language is on then it will read like uh, Spanol okay uh, use the subdirectory for default language uh, okay this is the ES uh, which will be uh, embedded after the website for Espanol version but if you also want to uh, use the subdirectory or the slug for English then uh, turn this one to yes I'll uh, turn it no because I just want to uh, use my uh, actual domain instead of uh, the subdirectory en Okay, there are also uh, a lot of options, but first let's save it and let's see how uh, it looks like with these uh, two simple changes. After saving, open the home, the front end and refresh the page. Now you can see that there is a language button uh, in bottom right corner. Uh, there is Espanol and English. So uh, we checked native language, yes, uh, that is why uh, it is Espanol. If we select no for this uh, native language option, then uh, you will see Spanish here, not Espanol. Okay, also if you click on Spanish version, there will be uh, a slug for uh, ES, ES version. Just like this, it's now uh, Spanish version. But, but if we uh, come to the English version, uh, there will be no slug. You can see there is no slug. But if we change this option, use subdirectory for the default language, turn yes, and click on save changes, and come to the front end and refresh the page, you will see that there is a en, a subdirectory for the English uh, default language also. Uh, for Espanol it will be ES and for English it will be EN. So I'll uh, turn it no for my default language but you can turn it on for uh, all the languages you are using. Okay, now uh, let's come to the button. You can place the button here, the switcher here or in on the top right corner or the top left or mm, bottom left. Uh, switcher can be changed from here it is the location it's bottom right now we can put it on bottom left top right top left 
and you can also change the appearance uh, presently it's using flags with full language name you can also use the full language names only short language names flag with full name and flag with short name so uh, you can change uh, it to only flags also so there will be just flags and not English and Espanol okay also uh, you can use it in menu items or you can copy the short code and place it in your footer or header etc to uh, show the switcher within the footer or on if if you want to put it on a page then you can also put the short code on that page to show the language switcher on that page okay now the most important part uh, how to change the language text for each language okay there is uh, this page is uh, built with Elementor uh, that is why you can see it uh, edit with Elementor and also uh, there is a button translate page I am logged into my admin dashboard in the same browser that is why you're uh, seeing this strip click on translate page okay now that the translation uh, editing page is open uh, you can select a string uh, to change into different languages for example if I change the title of this page click on this pencil and it will be English and about us and uh, it will need the Spanish version of this about us text and I'll paste the Spanish version uh, I don't know the Spanish but um, I'm uh, just using Google Translator for this uh, and I'll uh, ask my friend if there are any errors then I'll fix this but uh, just to show you how to do this I'm using Google Translator right now okay uh, for about us it will be this save translation and if we open the home page then open about us as you can see the English version is about us and if we click on Spanish version then the title is different uh, and in Spanish for uh, Spanish translation uh, similarly come to the next phase uh, for this emergency calls click on edit and paste the translated version for Spanish and I'll copy this 24 7 as it is and then click the next title let me copy the same about us text copy and paste it for this second about us okay this is not typical but uh, because uh, I think it's using the same uh, this is this is using the same text from here for this also because if you come to the front end then you can see that it's also changed so let's uh, go to the next uh, there is also a next button if you click it uh, then you can see next uh, English version is coming here click next then we are a group of professionals uh, here just uh, paste the translation for this similarly click next it will get all this text here first click save translation then click next it will move to the next phrase which is this one uh, this is not uh, the actual text that is why it's not uh, translating okay uh, enough for the text now uh, let me show you you can also change the images or the background images for English and mm, Spanish different for example this is a uh, background image or uh, you can add a new image here uh, and if you change the language here 
the image will also be changed for English and for uh, Spanish. So uh, that was all for today. Uh, please let me know in the comments if uh, you have any problem with this and uh, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing this channel. Thank you.